All right, friends. Good evening. Welcome to Power Flow tonight. My name is Carlos. It's my boy Rashid. We're going to go through some fun, unique movements this evening. So focus on the breath, but at the same time, focus on just paying attention, just tuning in to the practice, and getting zoned into this room, into your body, forgetting about everything else that's going on, just lock in for this next 75 minutes so that you can get the most out of this practice, all right? We are gonna to start today on our back, so make your way to your back. Sutta Baddha Konasana, butterflies. Soles of the feet together. Take your arms over your head, make the same shape as your legs. And then just rock your hips side to side, a couple times left and right, just a little bit of rock there, just feel that out. As you do that, try to lengthen more through your lower back. Lengthen more through your shoulder blades and relax through the shoulder blades. And then find some stillness. With some volume, exhale all the air from your mouth. Inhale through your nose, fill up. And a big open mouth, exhale. Let it out. Again. Deep breath in. Open mouth, breath out. One more like that. Inhale as full as you can. And open mouth, exhale, let it go. Continue to breathe in through nose, out through mouth, just a little bit quieter. Gently draw your knees together using your hands, pull your knees to your armpits, and then begin to make circles with each leg. Little circles there, but you need your pencil as you draw the circles. Opposite direction. Good, pause in the middle. Tie your feet down, relax your arms as you inhale, find the touch. Pull hips up high, neck is long. As you exhale, slowly uncurl back down from the top to the bottom. We'll take five rounds like that. Slowly inhale, drive the hips up. Exhale, bring it up. Now again, inhale up. Exhale down. Three more, in. Out. In, out, one more there, in, and out. Get soles of the feet together, butterfly the knees again. Bring your arms up, palms together, interlace thumbs, release the index fingers. Take an inhale right there. On your exhale, crunch and reach forward. Inhale, low. Exhale, crunch and reach. Good. Keep going on your breath. On the exhale, you crunch. Every time you crunch up, try to flatten out your lower back. Tuck the tail as you squeeze the belly in the spine. Warm your upper belly as you continue to open up the inner thighs and the groin. Ten more seconds here. In three, hold your crunch in two. One, hold your crunch, pause there. Reach your arms straight up, belly tight. Take an inhale, exhale, lift only your legs. Inhale, tap, exhale, lift. Good, slow there, back and forth, in and out. Keep the upper back off the ground, the belly hugging into the spine, warming deeper into the lower belly now. Knees are still wide, just moving the legs, everything else is still. In five, keep the legs up in four, lower the head down and arms down in three, two, one. Legs stay up, head down, arms down. Open the knees out as wide as you can, keep the knees bent. Stay there, inhale. Exhale, squeeze the knees together. Inhale, open wide. Exhale, squeeze. Good work your inner thighs. In, out, in, out. Five more. 
Try to have the knees directly above hips, so not too close to your chest. You want the knees to be out just a little bit, so it's a little more straight on the belly. You gotta hug the belly into the spine. One more. Good, pause there. Arms out like wings now. Now that your legs squeeze together. Glue the inner thighs tight. As you inhale, lower legs to your left, look to the right. And as you exhale, come back to center. Other side. Inhale to the right, look left. Exhale, center. Good. Keep going just like that. Your focus is keeping the knees glued together, so squeeze through inner thighs. If you want more challenge, make your legs straighter. But if you do that and the knees come apart, come back to it more bent so that the knees can stay together. Focus on the inner thigh strength as you warm into your obliques. Exhales, bring the legs back to center. 10 more seconds here. In three, knees to your chest in two. One, hug the knees and squeeze. And from there, kick your legs straight up into the air. Place your arms down by your sides. Stay there, inhale. As you exhale, push to the hands, lift the hips, let the feet tap the ground behind the head. As you inhale, slowly come back down. Plant the feet, drive the hips up high, finding bridge. And on the exhale, lower the hips. So inhale, lift your legs. Exhale to flat. Inhale, come back up. Plant the feet, drive the hips high. Exhale low. Inhale up. Exhale back. Inhale, roll out. Plant the feet, hips high. Exhale down. Last one. In. Out. Inhale, bring it back down and pop the hips up. Release on the exhale. Knees to chest, grab the hamstrings, cross the ankles, start to rock and roll back and forth. Gain some momentum. And three, all the way through to a high plank in two. One, roll all the way through, plant the hands, find the plank position, pause there. Spread the fingers wide apart, hug the shoulders back, squeeze the belly in tight. Stretch your heels to the back wall, reach your head to the front wall, lengthen your body in opposite directions. Doing here what is called a plank retraction. So as you inhale, let your chest collapse, let the hips sink a little bit. As you exhale, pull the belly and press the hands, squeeze, spread shoulder blades apart, squeeze everything tight. So inhale, collapse, exhale, squeeze. Five more, in, out, in, out, in, out, two more, in. Out, last one, in, and out. Hold, squeeze, engage, but breathe. In three, find your way to your belly in two. One, lean forward, lower slowly all the way down to the belly. Reach your arms straight ahead to the front of the room. Tops of the feet are glued to the ground. Push the feet down so your kneecaps hover, thighs engaged. Take an inhale. On the exhale, lift up, hug your elbows towards your ribs, squeeze. Inhale, or reach forward, tap the ground. Exhale, lift and squeeze. Five like that, in. Out. In. Is your back right? Out. In. No, it's backwards. Out. That's your exhale. In. Out. One more, in. Out. Good, hold. Take your arms out wide, fingers reach back. Inhale, lift the legs only. Exhale, tap. Inhale, lift, keep the chest up. Exhale, tap, legs straighter. Inhale, lift. Exhale, tap. Two more, in. Out. One more, in. Out. Good, lower all the way down. Place your hands underneath your shoulders, tuck the toes. High plank, inhale. Down dog, exhale. Good. Once you get to down dog, listen close. Lift your heels up as high as you can. Bring your knees one inch from the ground. Pause there. Push your butt back further. Press through your hands. Get your shoulders way back towards the knees as you push the hips back and you load your weight to your feet. Good. From there, inhale, lift the hips up. Exhale, stretch your heels down. 
Inhale, lift the heels high. Exhale, hover knees, push your butt back. Inhale, hips up. Exhale, heels down. One more like that. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Right leg high to the sky, breathe in. As you exhale, bend the right knee, open up the right hip, pause there. So making hip circles. So bring your right knee to your left knee, circle out and around, and make as big of a circle as you can. Loosening into the hip, stay in that one direction. Next time your knees scrape, switch direction, other way. Out, back, out and around. Find the three-legged dog, send the leg up. In a low lunge, step your right foot between the hands. Lower down to the left knee, untuck the back toes, inhale, bring the arms up, pause there. So before leaning forward, come out of that. Sink back a little bit, lift the belly, tuck the tail, hug back on the right hip. Stay here, inhale. As you exhale, goal post your arms and sink forward at the same time. Sink into lunge with the elbows, pull down, heart lifted. Now on your inhale, arms up, right leg straight. Try to keep the toes down, find your length there. Three times. Exhale, sink and go pose. Good. In. Out. One more. In. Out. Good. Inhale back up. This time on the exhale, low lunge, plant the hands. To your left, wide leg, halfway lift. Inhale, turn left. Lift the chest up. Shoulders back, straight arms, straight legs. Exhale, just drop into a fold. Inhale, halfway lift again. To the back, exhale, low lunge. Pivot to the back. Drop to the right knee. Untuck the toes. Inhale, the arms up. Without leaning forward yet, hug back on the left hip. Lift the right thigh. Tuck the tail. Stay there. Inhale. Now on the exhale, sink forward and go post the arms. Lift your heart up. Drop head back. Inhale, left leg straight. Arms up. Keep the left toes down. Find your range. Exhale, sink it open. Two more, in. Out. One more, in. Out. Good, inhale back up. On the exhale, low lunge, hands come down. Tuck the back toes to the right. Inhale, wide leg, halfway lift this and close. Keep the feet flat. To your right, exhale, lateral lunge. Bend the right knee. Make sure that both feet stay flat. Don't let it go too far. Press the thighs on your back foot. Inhale, lift the hips up. Other side. Keep the hands where they are. Exhale, just bend the knees. So the hands don't need to move. You're just finding your range there. Three rounds. In. Out. In. Out. In. Out. In. Out. One more cycle. In. Out, in, out, listen, inhale, halfway lift, to the front, exhale, low lunge, side plank, left hand to the ground, right foot goes to your left foot, stack the feet, stack the hips, reach up. If stack feet is too much, stagger the feet, or always you can bring that right foot to front, more support. From here, breathe in. As you exhale, reach your right hand underneath your left rib cage and twist. Reach through. Look towards that right hand. Get as much rotation as you can. Inhale, come back up. Hips still. Exhale, reach and twist. In. Out. Three more. In. Out. In. Out. Last one. In. Out. Inhale, back up. On your exhale, chaturanga, plant the hands, bend the elbows, come halfway. Up dog, breathe in, point the toes, chest high. Down dog, breathe out. Slow breath in. Slow breath out. Slow breath out. Inhale, left leg goes up. Bend your left knee, open the hip. And then hip circles, so now left knee goes to the right, bring it towards your chest, circle out and around. Big wide circle. Loosen into the left hip. Make as much range as you can. Next time the knees scrape, reverse the direction. Back out and around. 
And find your three-legged dog in half. Low lunge, exhale, step the left foot through. Lower to the right knee, inhale, arms come back up on the five crescent. Pause there. So this time working into the left hamstring first. Breathe in. On the exhale, floating half split. Hips go back, flex the front toes high, send the arms back, and lower your chest halfway. So lean forward. Try to get your shoulders as low as the hips. Hug the belly tight. Roll the shoulders back, lift the hands up higher, pull back on the left toes and hug back on your left hip. Three rounds. Inhale, bring it up. Exhale, take it back. Press into the right shin. Inhale up for stability. Exhale back. One more. Inhale up. Exhale back. Good. Inhale up. On the exhale, low lunge, hands down. To your right now, wide leg, halfway lift, inhale. Hold, exhale. Halfway lift, in. To the back, low lunge, out. Left knee goes down, inhale, arms up, find your modified crescent, pause there. Get the hips square, let the hips lean forward, lift the belly, lift the chest. Stay there, inhale. On the exhale, floating half split. Press the hips back, right leg goes straight, arms go back, chest comes down halfway, shoulders roll back, flex more back on the right toes, hug the belly in tighter. Inhale, come back up. Exhale, sweep back. Two more, in. Out. One more, in. And out. Good. Inhale, come back up. On the exhale, low lunge, plant your hands. To your left, wide leg, halfway lift, inhale, listen. To the front, skandasana, exhale. So take it all the way down this time. It's okay if you gotta lift the left heel, but let the hips sink. Flex the right toes back. Keep your chest tall. Fingers in front of you for support. Now flowing, inhale, lift back up. Other side, exhale, bend the left knee, let the hips drop. Pause there for a second, breathe, spine is tall. Sink into the right heel, flex back through left toes. Three cycles, inhale, exhale, in, out, in, out, in, out, in, out, right side, in, out, Good. inhale, back up. Fold on the exhale, halfway lift in, to the front, low lunge out, side plank as you inhale, left foot to the right, stack the hips and the left arm high. Make sure your left hip is not falling back, get that left hip a little bit more in so that the hips are more stacked. Breath in, exhale, reach through and twist, inhale, scoop up, exhale, reach, in. Out, three more, in, out, in, out, last one, in, in, out, inhale up, chaturanga on the exhale, and out, listen close here, inhale, heels high, look forward, exhale, bend your knees, step right foot outside the right hand, left foot outside the left hand, find your squat. Toes are pointing out, hips sink low. Might want to rock side to side a few times, loosen up there. Whatever you need. And then from here, palms together. Look forward, pressing into the feet. Inhale, rise up, arms up. Exhale, sink straight back down, hands to heart. Forward like that. In, out, out. Two more, in, out, one more, in, and up. Pause there, reach your arms straight ahead, separate the palms, hug the shoulders back. Thumb, or fingers spread wide, thumbs point up, just the right arm, pull the right arm back. Soften the shoulder, take it as far back as you can with the arm staying straight, so keep engaging through your tricycle pull. Stay there, breath in, exhale, lower the right arm. Inhale, send the left arm back. Soft shoulder, straight arm, hold. It might not go very far, that's okay. You find your range, tail tucked, chest lifted. Hands together. 
into legs, thumbs, triceps, in, stay low, both arms, hold, breathe, arms stay straight, inhale, stand up, keep them straight, exhale, sink down, four, in, out, in, out, in, out, one more, in, out, inhale, pull hands to the heart, forward fold, exhale, very good, feet hip width apart, take them back a little bit, one round of a crow pose, get the hands flat, spread the fingers wide, lift the heels up high, sink your butt down low, bring knees high to triceps, soften elbows, lean forward, tight belly, chin up, lift right foot, lift left foot, breathe, big toes together, heels towards the butt, keep pushing into your hands, 10 more seconds here, it's not that long, just breathe through it. In five, chaturanga in three, shoot back in two, one, chaturanga, shoot back, up the breathe in, down the breathe out. Very nice, big inhale, open mouth, exhale. For the rest of the way, seal your lips. Inhale through nose. Exhale through nose. Inhale through nose. Exhale through nose. Inhale, heels up, look forward. Bend your knees, exhale forward, fold to the top. Feet together, halfway lift in. Fold out. Reverse one up, inhale, rise up, stand up, look up, reach up. Hands to your heart, breath out. Close your eyes. Soften the shoulders. Stand tall. Breathe. Already building some heat. Already building some pace. Can you slow it down for a second? Notice the beating of the heart. Notice the pace of the breath. Synchronize them. Slow inhales. Slow heartbeats. Slow exhales. Slow heartbeats. Blink your eyes open, release your hands down. Follow closely here. Inhale, mountain, take your arms up high. Your right foot stays on the ground. Exhale, standing crunch. Left knee to chest, elbows to ribs. Tuck your chin round your spine. Pause there. Squeeze everything nice and tight in that center. Try to get forehead to me if you can. Now on the inhale, toes tap mat, reach for the sky, toes forward a little bit. Five times, exhale, crunch. Inhale. Exhale. Three more, in. Press into right, big toe, out. Use right inner thigh, in. Out. One more. In, out, mountain inhale, feet flat, other side you'll hold, exhale, right knee up, tuck, squeeze, hold, find your balance, engage the left quad, push the foot down, five rounds on the breath, inhale, tap and reach, exhale, squeeze, stand in front, four more, in, out, in, out, Let's go two more, in, out, last one, in, out, mountain pose, inhale, swan dive, fold, exhale, halfway lift, inhale, chaturanga, exhale, up, down, breathe in, back to chaturanga, breathe out, high plank, inhale, down, down, exhale. So if you want to add on to your chaturanga today, it's an up dog, chaturanga, high plank, down dog. One breath in, one breath out. Flowing through that sun A, but only one time on each crutch. Inhale, heels high, look forward. Bend your knees, exhale, step or float to the top, forward fold. Halfway lift in, fold out, 
Reverse one that inhale. Right foot on the ground, standing crunch, exhale. Mountain, inhale. Other side, standing crunch, exhale. Mountain, inhale. Fold, exhale. Halfway lift, in. Chaturanga, out. Up, down, in. Back to Chaturanga, out. High plank, in. Down, down, out. One breath in. Slow breath out. One more round. Inhale, heels high, look forward. Bend your knees, exhale, float to the top. Halfway to the air. Hold, out. Reverse one, that in. Right foot on the ground, standing crunch, out. Inhale, mountain. Other side, exhale, crunch. Inhale, mountain. Fold, exhale. Halfway lift, inhale. Chaturanga, exhale. Up, down, in. Chaturanga, out. High plank, in. Down, down, out. Five rounds of breath. On it down. Press through your hands, driving the mat forward with your hands. Press with the balls of the feet, drive the mat back through your heels. Find your tabletop position, knees down. Come down to your left elbow. Left hand is flat, left arm's at an angle. Kick the right leg up. Reach your right hand back. Find the inside of your ankle at the base of the foot. And then kick into it. Kick and open. Look up to your right. Keep the balance. Press into the top of that foot. Press into the left hand. Three, two, one. Gently release. Find your tabletop and then switch. Right elbow down. Left leg goes up, send the left arm back, grab the inside of the ankle. Your thumb should be pointing up to the ceiling here. Turn your hand back. Hold it down. Turn your hand around. There you go. This is good. Can you get flatter through your right ankle? Try to get that right ankle longer. Kick up higher. Look up if you can. There we go. One more breath in. And release gently on the exhale. Find your tabletop. Stay there for an inhale. Three times, just um, just a <laughs> cow, cat pose. Exhale, good more cat. Chin and chest, hug the tight. Inhale, just a neutral spine, just relax. Exhale, cat push, squeeze. One more, inhale, neutral. Exhale, cat. Good. Inhale, neutral. Tuck the toes. Down, dog. Exhale. All right, slow breath in. Slow breath out. Here comes the tricky part. Inhale, lift your heels high, look forward. I'll bend your knees, exhale, float to the top, fold. Halfway lift, in. Fold, out. Right foot on the ground, single leg chair pose. Inhale, arms up, left leg up. Hold that. So get the hips low, bend the right knee, pull the left knee high, flex the toes up, squeeze the belly, relax your shoulders. Steady, strong in the right leg. Stay there as you inhale. On the exhale, half moon. Left foot kicks back, right hand comes down, left arm goes up. You don't have to worry about a straight right leg. It's okay to bend to your knee first. Get all five right fingertips on the ground. Lift your left leg higher and then make the right leg straight. Reach your left arm higher, open the chest up. Try to work your gaze up towards your left hand. Can you flex the left toes any higher? Now, with control, your right foot does not move. On the inhale, warrior two, bend the right knee, step your left foot back, left arm swings around as the right arm goes forward, find your warrior two. Tall spine, deep bend to the right knee, open the your inner thighs and your groin, lift through the chest. We've already been to this next pose. Stay there, inhale. 
You have the option on the exhale, lateral lunge or skandhasana to the back. So hands to heart, back heel in, front toes high. You can sink all the way down if your foot can stay flat. Otherwise, don't. Roll it back. Back on that. Now from here, look forward. Keep the butt low. Let your hands be together. The hands lead the way. On the inhale, crescent lunge with the back and lean forward. Arms sweep down, up, back. Reach back, look back. Soften the elbows, move goal post. All 10 toes point forward. Stay there, breathe in. Stay there, breathe out. Listen closely here. Take an inhale. On your exhale, crescent crunch. Hover left knee. Elbows come together, chin to your chest, elbows around the right knee. So we're going to practice that three times. Inhale, open to your crescent. Exhale, crescent crunch. Sink and squeeze. Inhale, crescent, left leg goes straight. Exhale, crunch, hover left knee. One more, in and out. Good pause. Look forward on the inhale. Airplane pose, lean forward, lift the leg, lift the arms. Shoulders back, chest up. Level hips. Point through your left toes with the left heel higher. Right leg, you start to feel it by now, that's okay. Breath in. On your exhale, standing splits. Hands go down, drop your head, left leg higher. Subtle bend to the right knee is fine. Square the hips more, point left toes. Left leg to sky, forehead towards shin. Steady here, big motion. On the inhale, one leg to the us, and left knee towards chest. Look forward, arms reach forward, lift the hands, lift the left knee. Oh, leg is tired. Find the balance. Knee high, tall spine, arms strong. Good, stay here, breath in. Listen close here. On the exhale, kick left leg straight, hug elbows to ribs, squeeze. Inhale, back to one leg, Tadasana. Exhale, kick and squeeze. Two more, in. Out. In. Out. Dancers prep. Okay, stay with it, be calm. Take a moment here, control. Stand tall, don't need to lean forward yet. Start to lift the left leg, just the leg. When you can't go no higher, reach forward. Lean as you lift. Lean as you lift, look straight ahead, finding your dances. Hold, steady, kick, and reach for five. Your release is gonna be a chair pose in three. Chair pose in two. One, inhale, find the chair, feet together, arms up. Listen closely here. On the exhale, forward fold, hands down. On your inhale, crow pose. Find the connection, lean into it, lift the feet. Stay on the exhale. One more breath in. Turn around with a breath out. Up, down, breathe in. Down, hug, breathe out. Okay, that was probably harder than I thought it was gonna be. <laughs> so that's a good thing. Now, I'm sure you might have had a little bit of struggle with that. Guess what? Other side. Everyone take a break. And we're going to uh, fine-tune it, okay? One step at a time. Stay calm. Breathe deep. In through nose. Out through nose. Inhale. Heels high. Look forward. Exhale. Bend the knees. Forward fold to the top. Halfway lift. In. Fold out. Left foot on the ground. Single leg chair. Inhale. Arms up. Right knee up. Find it. Belly tight, shoulders soft, pull the arms back, flex the right toes higher, lift the right knee higher. Stay there in head with control. On the exhale, half moon, left hand to the ground, right arm or right leg go back. So it's okay again, keep a subtle bend to left knee so you can get all five left fingertips on the ground. Lift the right leg higher, flex the right toes up, reach the right arm higher, stack the shoulders, and start to work your gaze up to that right hand. Keep pressing into left big toe. Strong through left inner thigh. Left foot does not move. On the inhale, warrior two. Soften the knee, right foot goes back. Right arm sweeps down, up and around as you rise up, left arm goes forward. The only reason that the left foot should move is if you need to go further forward because you were too far back. 
So that left foot wants to be still. Spine is tall, arms are strong. Sink a little lower into your lunge. Eyes over left middle finger. Stay there, breathe in. Stay there, breathe out. One more inhale. On the exhale, scan the awesome or lateral lunge to the back. So hands to the heart, back heel in, front toes high, sink to your right knee. Breathe there. You can go as low as you can as long as you keep the back foot flat. The back heel lifts from going too far. Okay, now look forward to the front of your mat. Let your hands guide you. On the inhale, press on the back and hands go down, forward, up and back, roll close to arms. Strong to the ball of your back foot, all ten toes pointing forward. Stay there, breath in. On the exhale, crescent crunch. Hover the right knee, elbows come together, chin to your chest, squeeze. Inhale, back to crescent, over. Exhale, crescent crunch, squeeze. Inhale, over. Exhale, close. Last one, in. Out. Look forward. Inhale, airplane, lean forward, lift the back leg, lift the arms, square hips, point right toes, right leg higher, chest up, shoulders back, hands up, steady, breath, stay there, one more inhale, standing splits on the exhale, drop the hands, drop the head, lift that right leg more, just keep both hands on the mat, let's not worry about making it too hard, too deep right now, just all ten fingers on the mat, just try to eat to chest, look forward, arms out, Hands lead the way, right knee comes up, arms come up, flex the right toes high, pull back, soft shoulders, squeeze in through your belly. Good, stay here, breathe in. As you exhale, right leg straight, elbows hug back, squeeze. Inhale, bend and reach. Exhale, kick and squeeze. Two more, in, out. Last one, in, out, dancers prep as you inhale, left arm up, right hand grabs the inner right ankle, knees together, hold. Do not lean forward yet, just stand tall. Can you get even taller? Chest up more, arm back more. Knees should be in line. Stay there, breath in. Now on the exhale, begin to kick up. If you take the one higher than that, you start to lean. Look straight in front of you. Keep kicking and leaning. Reach through that fingers, eyes are focused. Five, four, finding your chair in three, chair pose in two, one, feet together. Inhale, lift the arms up. Forward, forward, exhale, drop. Halfway lift, inhale. Crow pose, oh no, sorry. That was crow pose on the inhale, crow pose. Stay for the exhale. Another breath in. And chaturanga on the breath. The left dog in. Down the dog out. Three cycles of breath here. Then we're coming down. So just hold. Be patient. Hold the down dog. Two more rounds of breath. One more inhale. Open mouth. Exhale. We're gonna come down to knees. Take a moment with some water, maybe towel off. My oh, man is dripping over here. Uh, we do have the heater on here tonight, so it's nice and toasty. Oh boy. All right. Again, that was not easy, was it? It wasn't simple. Not supposed to be simple. So it's challenging you to focus, to be calm, to stay in the moment. When you try to move through these poses, if you move too fast, you lose your control. Go slow. Let the breath. Take you in and out of the movements. The breath is strong. You will be strong. Breath is weak. Same thing follows for yourself. So strong inhales, strong exhales. Focus mentally. Trust that you have this in your body. Okay, we're going to put it together. Two rounds. Breath to move. Sit up tall for a second, let your hands rest, close your eyes. Mentally prepare. Tell yourself that you got this. That you're in control, you're in charge, you have the ability to move through this with success. 
One breath at a time, slow. Eyes open, find your way back to the downward facing back. From your down up, inhale, lift your heels high, look for Exhale, bend your knees, float to the top, forward fold. Half, uh, halfway to the end. Fold out. Right foot on the ground, single leg chair pose. Inhale, arms up, left knee up. Exhale, half moon, right hand down, kick back, reach up. Warrior two, inhale, softly step back, circle the arms. To the back, lateral lunge or stand off, and exhale. Crescent with the back, and lean forward, inhale, sweep up, take it back. One time, crescent crunch, exhale, get low. Airplane, inhale, look forward, lift. Standing splits, exhale, drop. One leg to the asana, inhale, rise. One time, exhale, kick, hug the elbows back. Dancers prep, inhale. Dancers pose, exhale. Chair pose, inhale. Fold, exhale. Crow pose, inhale. Chaturanga, exhale. Up and down. Breathe. So if by chance you struggled and you were faster than me, that's probably why. Slow your ass down. Inhale, heels up, look forward. Exhale, bend the knees, float to the top, hold. Halfway lift, in. Fold, out. Left foot on the ground, chair pose. Inhale, single leg chair. Half moon, exhale. Warrior two, inhale. Skandasana to the back. Exhale. Crescent with the back bend. Inhale. Crescent crunch. Exhale. Airplane. Inhale. Standing splits. Exhale. One leg to the asana. Inhale. Kick and squeeze. Exhale. Dancers prep. Inhale, dancers pose, exhale, chair pose, inhale, fold, exhale, curl pose, breathe in, chaturanga, breathe out, up and down, recycle the breath. So it's locked in now, it's dialed in. Will you trust it? Trust that you know where to go. Up, down, up, down, up, down. Inhale, heels high. Exhale, bend the knees. Forward fold to the top. Halfway lift, in. Fold out. Right foot down, single leg chair, in. Half moon, out. Warrior two, in. Skandasana to the back, out. Crescent with the back, and in. Crescent crunch, out. Airplane, in. Standing splits, out. One leg to the asana, in. Kick and squeeze, out. Dancers prep, in. Dancers pose, out. Chair pose, inhale. 
fold and exhale. Crow pose, inhale. Chaturanga, exhale. Up, down. Heels high, inhale. Bend the knees. Halfway lift, in. Fold, out. Left foot down, single leg chair, in. Half moon, out. Warrior two, in. Lateral lunge, skandasana, out. Crescent, inhale. Crescent crunch, exhale. Airplane, inhale. Standing splits, exhale. One leg tadasana, inhale. Kick and squeeze, exhale. Dancers prep, inhale. Dancers pose, exhale. Chair pose, inhale, <laughs> breathe out, up, down. Big inhale through nose. One more like that, breathe in. Stick the tongue out. Puppy pose, knees down, arms forward, head down. If your elbow's not on the mat, walk the elbows back until they're down, turn the palms up and relax. Palms up so the shoulders can be soft, just let it go. If it's too much on the shoulders, get the elbows further back a little wider, makes it easier. Let your chest collapse. If you need more chin to the mat, it's fine. Breathe that. Okay, from here, keep the elbows on the ground. Lift your head up. Get the elbows under your shoulders. Turn the palms flat. From there, tuck the toes, lift your butt up. Shoulders back. Walk your feet in tighter, finding your dolphin. Eyes towards your thumbs. Bring the feet together. Lift only the right leg halfway, point the toes. Make sure it stays straight. Lift your left heel as high as you can. Right leg as high as you can. Look forward and hold or soften left knee and give a gentle hop and try to find your forearm stand, both legs up. Might or might not be there. It's okay to just hold. Five. Coming back down in three. Back down in two. One, slowly come back down. Find an embryo pose. Sink your butt to heels. Hands by the feet. Drop your head with your spine around. Breathe there. Hug the belly in tight. Try to get some roundness through the upper back and roundness through your lower back. So whether or not you got up in that forearm stand does not matter, but were you able to hold your leg in the air at least and just build the strength? If you cannot do forearm stand yet, but you're not willing to build the strength there, how are you going to do it, huh? You got to be willing to take the time there and breathe. It's okay if it's hard on the shoulders, hard on the legs. You got to breathe through it as long as it's not bad pain. Let the strength go. We have one more side. Slowly come to the tabletop. Elbows down. So a couple tips first though. Whenever leg is in the air, if the leg bends, you lose your energy. You want to keep the leg straight, toes point to keep it strong. Your lower rib cage needs to be squeezed in so you don't flare the ribs, flare the back up. You want to squeeze the rib cage in so your entire belly is tight. That's going to give you more stability. When you get up, you want to have a straighter back, then more of a back bend. So you want to hold the back bend until you're already up, and then you can work on going further. From the start of it, straight spine as much as you can. Okay, here you go. Hands are flat. Make sure the elbows are on your shoulders. Tuck the toes. Butt up, knees up. 
Walking in tight. Feet together. Pull the shoulders back. Hug the belly in tight. Left leg only halfway. Only halfway point the toes. Get it straight and strong. Get the right heel as high as you can. Left leg higher. Hips still square. Look between your thumbs. Hold or bend the right knee and pop. And try to catch the inner thighs together and close together and hold. Breathe. You can keep playing with the hop or just hold the leg up. Five. And gently down in three. And gently down in two. One. Oh shit, slowly come back down. Don't be like this, clown. <laughs> keep that core tight, ladies and gentlemen. Sit up nice and tall. Keep trying to take me out. In my own house. Damn, that's Assassin's Creed. <laughs> Must be a beer. <laughs> Slow breath in. <laughs> Slow breath out. Slow breath in. Slow breath out. All right, let's play a little more. Make your way back to downward facing dog. Full inhale. Full exhale. Right leg high to the sky, breathing. Low lunge, breathe out, step through. Warrior two, inhale, rounds. Extended side angle, exhale, reach. Pause there. Take a half bind, left arm behind the back. Grab the right hip crease and just twist. Drop the hips more. And if you want to go further, drop your right elbow to the back of the right knee. Get it connected. And then take the hand behind your back and find the left fingers. So that right elbow should stay on the back of the right knee. Drop the hips more and then turn the chest over. Left shoulder back and twist. So now you got a nice bind. Look down. Step your left foot to the front of the mat. Left toes point forward. Keep the bind. Lift the right heel. Look forward. Belly tight. Lift up. Right knee to the sky, left leg straight and strong. Oh, stay on the mat. Once you're up, chest up, right shoulder back, and then maybe you try to kick the right leg out. Maybe you don't. Maybe you want to fold halfway forward, fold that balance, steady. Oh, shit. And then slowly come down. This is very more than I normally do. Step back with your left foot, come back to side angle with your arms extended. Usually I skip all that fun stuff. On your inhale, reverse triangle, straighten the front leg, reach up. On your exhale, bring your arms parallel to the ground. Stay in there, breath in. Exhale, hips go back as you begin to reach forward. Hold here, keep reaching forward, look forward. Keep leaning until you got your left hip, right shoulder, and right wrist in line, and then arms at six and 12. So the more you hug the right hip back, Turn left hip open the better. If you need support, put a block on your right hand or push your right hand to your right shoe and push up. Stretch up tall, look up high. Breathe there. Now, this is a trickier bind here. Listen close. Left arm behind the back, find the half bind. Bend the right knee, come back into your full bind. Pause that. Once you got full bind, straighten right leg again. Twist more than leg straight. Good. Now, listen closely here. Bend the right knee, look forward. Bring your left foot about two feet behind the right, about two feet behind the right, left foot. And then lean forward, look in front of your right foot, lift the left heel high, keep leaning forward, and then try to lift your left foot in the air behind you. You gotta look and lean forward, <laughs> keep the mind, but you got Deep breathing, it's okay if you fall off of it. Try to come back. Three, foot down to two. One, bring the foot back down. Stay low, find triangle, arms extended. Good. Inhale brings you up. On your exhale to the back, stand awesome. Sink down. Pause there. Good. Last bit of rotation. Hug the right hand inside back. Left arm connects to the inside of your left knee. Left hand is flat. Right arm goes up. And you twist. Maybe that's enough. Maybe you want a half bind. Open up. If you want a full bind, left arm around your left shin, find that. Might not be for today. Maybe a half is enough. Yeah. Okay, slowly release the bind. And come to heart if you can. Breathe in. On the exhale, wide leg forward, forward. Hands down, lift your butt up, drop your head. Inhale, find a halfway lift. 
Pivot to the front. Exhale, low lunge. Pause there. Take the right piece fingers. Grab the right big toe. Use your thumb to close the grip. Hold that steady. Left hand is flat. Left arm is straight and strong. Roll to the outside of your left foot. Push off left foot. Push off left hand. Squeeze the belly. Just lift the right knee up. Keep the foot down. Just lift the right knee up so the foot floats off the mat. Pause and then open the chest to the side. Stack the hips. When you're good, kick up to the sky. High as you can. Straight as you can. Breathe. If it's too much, you can tree your leg or keep the legs together. In five, we're going to a full split in four or a half split in three. You've got the foot you're carrying it in two. One, carry the right foot to the front. Find your full split. If this is too much, back off to a half split like you did earlier in the beginning of the class. Pause there. Breathe. Can you make this more of a resting posture? You don't need to force this. Gravity will do all of the work you need here. Just be calm. Okay, slowly look forward. Slide the right foot back. If you're not in a half split yet, shift forward into a lunge. Find downward facing dog and breathe. Last side to go. One last side to go. Left leg to the sky and head. Low lunge, exhale. Warrior two, in. Extended side angle out, pause there. Once you have your hips low, your right arm is straight, take a half bind, right arm behind the back, find left hip crease, twist. If that's enough, you stay here, keep twisting, tuck the tailbone down. If you want to go further, left elbow to the back of your left knee, get down low first. Left hand behind you, find the right hand, keep the butt down, turn the chest open, look up, rotate. And once you got that, look forward. Step right foot to the front of the mat, right toes forward. Lift the left heel, lift your chin up, look forward. Stand up, lift. Left knee high, chest up, left shoulder back. Once you're up, kick, see what you got. If that's, not, if that's too much, keep it bent, it's okay. If you want to forward halfway, forward halfway. Steady, breathe. Slow my weak side, it's easier to do that. Slowly, make your way back down, left foot to the ground. Step the right foot back. Stay in side angle first. Inhale brings you up to reverse triangle. On the exhale, arms come parallel to the mat. You might need a short stance here. It's okay if you have to. Both legs all the way straight. Stay there, inhale. On the exhale, hips start to go back. You start to reach forward. Keep reaching with hips going back. You leaning forward until you got a straight line, wrist, shoulder, hip. And then drop left hand. Set the right arm high. Open the chest up, breathe. Welcome to stay here. Or half bind, right arm behind the back. Bend the knee, find the full bind again. Once you got that, straighten left leg and twist. You can stick with that or look forward. Bend the left knee, right foot about two feet behind the left. Lift the right heel. Look in front of your left foot, lean your weight way forward. Get light on your right toes. And try to lift that right leg in the air. Not working for me tonight. It's all good. Oh no. Steady for three. Nice. You bring it down in two. Come on, bring it back down. Stay low. Triangle pose first. Inhale. Rise up. To the back. Exhale. Skandasana. Sink. All the way down. Flex the toes, hug back on the hip. Once you're good, your right arm is inside the right knee. Left arm goes up, rotate. If you want a half bind, half bind. If you want a full bind, full bind. Otherwise, stay where you are. Three. Four. 
and release the back. Hands to heart, find balance, breath in. Fold, breath out, hands down, butt goes up. Halfway lift in to the front, low lunge out. Left piece fingers, left big toe. Get the strong grip. Right hand is flat, spread the fingers wide, roll to the outside of your right foot. Keep the belly tight. Lift the left knee first. Just stack the hips. Open the chest to the side. Push up more. When you're ready, then you kick. And you kick. And you kick. How high can it go? Five. Finding your full split or half split in three. Try to carry the foot through in two. One, slowly carry it forward. Land soft. Breathe back. Make your adjustments. Relax. Slowly begin to back your way out. Shift forward into lunge. Step back to down dog. One breath in. One breath out. Stay still. We're going to make the way to a seat in a second. If you have the option, how you want to get to that seat. I'm going to go handstand to cross legs and sit soft if I can. If you have the option to do that too or just whatever you want to do. When you're ready. You make your way to your seat. Ah, pretty close. Legs out. Sit up tall. Ah, I had it and I lost it. Oh, bias practice. Okay. Right side is square pose. Bend your knees. Left leg under. Right ankle on top. Stack the shins as best you can. If you're tight like I am, you might want to put a block between the knee and the foot. Maybe a block under your left knee to get the hips more square. Sit up tall, a little bit of shoulder at the same time. So send the right arm up, thumb down. Right arm goes behind the back. Curl the right hand up. You want to get the right hand as high as you can. Middle finger in the spine. Chest up, sit up tall. Right shoulder rolls back, breathe into that. You want to get some left trap, uh, left lat and tricep as well. Left arm high, drop left hand to right. If you have the hands together, you want to fold like that, go ahead. If you don't have the hands together, release the arms gently and fold. Breathe deep there. You still got the arms, let the arms go and fold deeper. Let your inhale begin to back you up into your seat. Take your arms up to the sky. Stay there. Take another inhale. Lengthen. On the exhale, twist to the right. Drop the left hand to the right knee and the right hand behind you and keep rotating. Make sure you don't lean back. Spine stays tall. Soften through both shoulders. Try to get the right hand flat as you pull on the right knee to help twist. One more inhale. 
full exhale, release the twist, take it all the way over to your left side, keep the legs, walk your hands out to your left, and fold there. Try to drop elbows down, but you're trying to get the right elbow to the ground first, if you can. If not, it's okay, just work towards that. Leg out, shake it out. Okay, excuse me, it's not jokes here. We're just plotting some things right now. You know, when we do it, you'll know what it is. Bend your knees, send the right leg in, bring the left leg in. Find in your square first, make your adjustments, use props if you need. And then left arm goes up, thumb down, swing the left hand behind the back. Lean into it, you can curl the hand up high, chest up. Right arm high and drop it. If this is just too much, forget it. Put it back down, otherwise, be tall on the spine. Turn off chest. Try to get the hands together and pull apart. If not, it's okay. And if you have the hands together and you want to fold like that, go ahead. If you don't, release the arms and just fold. Make sure you're not leaning off to either side. You want to be centered here. Just relax. Instead of the arms, release the arms, fold a little more. And using an inhale, begin to come up, sweep your arms up high to the sky, stay for the exhale. Another inhale length. As you exhale, twist the left, right hand to left knee, left hand goes behind you, stay tall. Inhale for more length, exhale for more rotation. You can pull on that left leg to help with the rotation. After your exhale, come back towards Center, turn all the way to the right. Keep the legs and walk your right, your hands out to the right side. Trying to get the left elbow closer to the ground first. Even just trying to crawl the left fingers out further than the right fingers. Slowly come out of that. The left leg kicks out. The right leg kicks out. Shake it out for a second. And then draw your legs together. Bend the knees, feet flat, arms out. Drop your chin to your chest and slowly come down to your back. Get down to the back. Give your knees a squeeze in tight. 
flatten out through your lower back, press into the back of your neck. And then bridge or a wheel up to you. Feet flat, heels close to your butt, arms by your sides for bridge, or hands by the head for a wheel. When you're ready, lift the hips up high. If you're staying in bridge, interlace hands beneath, shoulders in, chest up. If you're in wheel, try to get the arms straighter, push away, tuck the tail more, hips up higher. Any other variations up to you, keep breathing. Strong for five. Move gently down in three, two, one. Slowly come down. When you get down, drop the knees to each other. Walk your feet out a little wider. Pause there. Lengthen out through your lower back, lengthen through your neck. Let your arms relax out like a T or a goal post. Couple of breaths there. The feet stay where they are. Drop both knees over to your left. Look to the right. And then switch that out. You get to go back and forth. Just rock knees from side to side. Let the chin fall opposite. Next time your legs are on the left, keep them over there. So it's up to you, however you want to deepen this twist, whatever's good for you. You can have the option of taking the left ankle to the outer right thigh, or you can just bring the right thigh on top of your left thigh. Wherever you decide to go, make sure that the spine is lengthening. You're not letting your entire body um, lean to the right side. It's going to be centered. Spine is long. Left shoulder more left, right shoulder more down. Let the entire spine just rotate from your tailbone to your neck. Neck to your tailbone. Breathe left. Release, come back to center. Knees together again, feet wide. Find that center, find that middle. And then drop the knees off to the right. Chin left. Whatever option you took, take it. And then gently release and work your way back to center. Knees to armpits for happy baby. Kick the feet up. Grab whatever is successful, whether it's the ankles or the feet or the big toe. Hug the knees down, flatten the back. Give yourself a nice little rock from side to side. If you want to play with straighten your legs, feel free to do so. One or both. And then bring your knees into your chest, give yourself a squeeze. Assess if your body wants any other posture. If it doesn't, then you can find Shavasana when you're ready. If there's something else you want, go ahead for me. I want a plow for me tonight, so maybe you take that as well, maybe you don't. Or you're in Shavasana and beginning to relax even further. If you took a plow and you want shoulder stand, you would have the freedom. If that's right for you, go ahead. Whenever you're good, Shavasana is waiting for you when you're ready for it.
into your lab recent glass and get rid of any final movements. The point here is just to be still and breathe with your breath. I want you to slow down and deepen it. Very soft with the inhale, very soft with the exhale. Start with a seven second inhale and a seven second exhale. And either work up one extra second at a time or two extra seconds at a time and see how far you can take it. Just slow the breath down. Be in no rush to reawaken. You work really hard to get to this point, so allow yourself as much time and stillness as you need. When you determine the time is right, slowly begin to move through the body. I'm going to re aware of everything that you're feeling. As you take your time to wake up slowly, thank and applaud you for your. Hard work for your efforts for putting forth the time and energy to be here. And so we meet again. I bow forward respect, honor, and admiration for each and all of you. My soul acknowledges your soul. Namaste. Namaste. Hey, job, friends. Thank you all for joining tonight. If you have any questions, comments, feedback, please let me know on Instagram or Facebook at Yoga with Los um, or comment on the YouTube channel. Other than that, have a great night and I'll catch you all tomorrow. Thank you. Good job. Let's <laughs> 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 <laughs>